Suppose marketing experts have determined the relationship between the selling price of an item and the cost of an item can be represented by the linear equation q is equal to negative 30s plus 800, where q is the quantity sold in a year and s is the selling price. If the cost to produce the item is $20, so the cost to produce an item is $20. What is the selling price that optimizes the yearly, the yearly profit? So what's the profit going to be? So let me write this down. So our yearly profit is going to be the quantity is going to be the quantity that we sell in a year. It's going to be the quantity that we sell in a year times times the price that we sell it at. Price times the price that we sell it at minus the cost of us actually producing that item. And in this case, they tell us it is $20. So for example, if we sell two items, if Q is two and we sell them for $25, we're going to make $5 on each item, because it costs each of them costs us five, $20 to produce. So 25 minus 20 will be 5. And if we sell two items at that price, it'll be 2 times 5, or we'll have a profit of $10. So what, how can we figure out how to maximize this profit? Well, they gave us the quantity as a function of selling price. So we could, we could express the entire profit as a function of selling price. So we could say, we can substitute q is equal to negative 30s plus 800 right over, right over here. And let's be very clear what this is telling us. This is telling us that if the selling price increases, then this will become a larger negative number. So we're going to sell fewer. We're going to sell a smaller quantity. And if actually, if you believe this, and if you actually made the selling price 0, if you, made, if you just gave away this product, it tells us that we would sell at most 800. So it might not be a perfect model, but let's just use this for you know some marketing experts have told us this. So let's just use it. So if we substitute negative 30s plus 800 for q, we get negative 30s plus 800 times s minus 20 times, let me do this in a different shade of yellow, times s minus 20. This is profit as a function of selling price. And now we can just, let me be very careful here. Let me be very careful. This is, this is q right here. And so this whole thing is q. We want to make sure we're multiplying this whole expression times this entire expression right over there. And so let's do that. So this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to negative 30s. So let me just distribute it out. This is going to be negative 30s times s minus 20 times this whole thing. We're taking this whole term. We're first multiplying it times negative 30s. And then we're going to take this whole term and then multiply it by 800, s minus 20. And so this gives us, this is equal to negative 30s times s. We have to distribute again. Negative 30s squared. Negative 30s times negative 20 is going to be positive positive six positive six hundred s and then we have eight hundred times s so that's plus eight hundred s and then eight hundred times negative twenty so that is negative eight times two is sixteen and we have one two three zeros one two three zeros and if we simplify we can add these two terms right over here we get negative thirty s squared plus fourteen hundred s Minus sixteen thousand. So we now we've now expressed we've now expressed our profit as a function of selling price, and this is actually going to be a downward opening parabola. And we can tell that because the the coefficient on the second degree term on the quadratic term is negative. So if we were to graph this, if we were to graph this, so over here, let me draw a better graph than that. Over here, this axis right here is going to be the selling price, and this is profit, which is a function of selling price. This graph right, this equation right over here, is going to look like this. It's going to look something like this. We already saw the selling price. Let me write, just write it this way. So let me just. It's going to look something like this. I don't know what the exact equation is going to look like, but it's going to be downward opening. And what we want to do is maximize the profit. 
we want to find this maximum point right over here. You could do it with calculus if you had, if you had calculus at, at your at your at your fingertips, or you could just recognize this is the vertex of the parabola, and you could you could figure out the vertex by putting in vertex form. But the fastest way is to just know that the normally the x coordinate or the s coordinate the s coordinate of the vertex is going to be negative b over 2a. And if we want to figure out what negative b over 2a is, we just take the, this is the b right over here. So it's negative b, so it's negative 1400, over 2a, over 2 times negative 30, which is equal to negative 1400 over negative 60. Negatives cancel out. We could divide the numerator and the denominator by 10. So this is the same thing as 140 over 6. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 3, sorry, by, by, uh, by 2. And you get 70. You get 70 over 3. And then we can just divide that. So 3 goes into 70. 3 goes into 7 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract, you get a difference of 1. Bring down the 0. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract, you have bring down, you get a 1. Now we're in the decimals. We bring down another 0. It becomes a 10 again. 3 goes into 10 3 times. I think you see where this is going. It's 23.3 repeating times. It'll just, if we just keep doing this, we're just getting more and more and more 3s. Or if we just wanted to round to the nearest penny, since we're talking about selling something, this optimal profit this optimal profit will happen at a selling price of $23.30 23 dollars and 33 cents that will optimize the yearly profit